Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my Colombian office, which is currently on the rooftop of some hotel. Uh, as you guys know, I tend to move around a bit, but always working no matter what. So I wanted to just go over a deal that I did back in uh, February. February of this year, I closed on a 12-unit apartment building in Lancaster, Ontario. I just wanted to run through the numbers and the strategies so you guys can kind of understand uh, some of the cool investments that do exist out there. So, like I said, it was a 12-unit. We bought it for 1.3 million. Um, down payment we did was 400k. With this particular project, I I raised capital from three other partners. We established a, a corporation. We bought it under the hold co. I believe I own 40% of that hold co. But down payment combined was 400k. We had a first mortgage of 900,000. We structured on a three-year term, and I'll explain that why later. 2.79%. Legal fees were about 10 grand, give or take. Uh, appraisal was 1,500 bucks, land transfer tax, all the way, God bless you, uh, Doug Ford, that went to you. Total price, uh, including all costs, basically 1.334 million. So, the reason we picked up this property is because it was unique in the, se in the sense that it was a 12 unit apartment building, but there had been individual tax bills. So the way I looked at it is like, there was an opportunity for me to basically establish individual condominiums and then resell individually. So the condo process has, had already been started, it just hadn't been finished. So technically, it was just a one apartment building, but the way I looked at it is that with some legal work, we could have 12 individual condos. So if you look at the breakdown here, it was about 111,000 uh, per unit, that's based on the total price that we paid, obviously divided by 12. The sale price, however, on individual condos. So if you look at the market, what would be a normal condo in that in that range, in that location, quality going for? It's about 170000 The condo corp itself, the legal framework to do all the condo work, establish the condo corp, the reserve fund, all that stuff, is about 25000 or about 2000 a unit. Uh, we add in some real estate commission and legal fees on the back end. It's about a... Three and a half percent cost of sale, so about six grand uh, per unit on that. It gives us a net sale price per unit of 162,000. So simple math: if we take 162,000 net sale price multiplied by 12 units, we get 1.944 million. Obviously, if we strip tack that from the cost, the original cost 1.33, we have a profit of 610,000. So this is a an estimated $600,000 return, probably gonna be more because the market's increasing. Uh, it's gonna take us about three years to do it. Obviously, we're not gonna fire sale uh, every condo at the same time, we'll scare the tenants, uh, and it's just not good. And we obviously need to cash flow it uh, in, the, in the interim. So we structured it as a three-year plan. That's why we did a three-year mortgage. And we're looking at about a 600K uh, return in three years. Uh, which is about 100, if you look at the upfront cost, it was 400, or 432,000. So we're looking at about 150% return in three years, um, which is pretty good. That, my friends, is what happens when you keep your eyes open and are not afraid to pull the trigger. We'll talk to you soon.